beautiful summer's day of the new year. What we're busy with today is removing wasps nests. Now we get indigenous wasps um, but they tend to be of a minimal problem. What we're dealing with today is the invasive uh, European paper wasp. They're the black and white, uh, black and yellow ones that you see flying around. They're fairly new to the uh, Western Cape. <clears throat> Last five years, we've seen a massive influx of them. Uh, they were brought in um, from Europe accidentally. And one of the biggest problems with them, like all wasps, they eat other insects. Now the indigenous wasp will eat spiders and uh, caterpillars, the things we generally consider as pests. These guys eat anything. So they actually are invading the um, local bees' nests, the beehives, and taking out the bees, which is a major problem. What we find is over the years, they've become more and more numerous. So what we do is we take them out as soon as we find them. Now, the rule on the estate, the basic rule of thumb, is if the uh, wasps or bees are on private property, it is up to the homeowner to hire people in to get rid of them. If they're on public areas, then we deal with them. But having said that, we try and help out where we can. Behind me, the guys are climbing up quite high for this nest. But in my hand, I've got queen nests. What happens is the queens overwinter. They're longer lived than the workers. Having overwintered, uh, during spring, they start building nests. Now they use wood bark <coughs> or wood, pulped wood. So you'll find them around the trees, um, around compost. And what they're doing is they're gathering up the wood and they're literally making paper out of it, making up these little nests. In the cells, they'll lay an egg and workers will hatch. Once the workers have hatched, of course, it becomes easier. The nest expands. They de then develop more and more queens. Those queens at this time of the year, middle summer, are starting to move out and building other nests. The way we deal with them is very simple. <clears throat> we get access to the nest, either by ladder or climbing. We then use soap water. Now I use soap water because A, it's non-toxic. We use sunlight soap because that's a pure soap, it breaks down in the environment. If we used toxins, we'd be spreading poisons around and nobody wants that which means that a bee that is, or a wasp that is halfway um, poisoned could be picked up by a bird or a little animal. And so you're putting toxins into the ecosystem. By using soap, we're not doing that. It's also pet friendly. We often work around public areas where children and pets are found. We don't want anybody uh, getting harmed. Soap water <coughs> is very simple. Basically about a cup of sunlight liquid into five liters of water put it into a spray can and then spray them. So please check your homes. Uh, unfortunately, the Val de architecture does lead itself to these sort of things. Look behind shutters, look under ledges, look under the, um, the apex of the roof. That's where they're normally found and normally on the southern side of the building. Together we can dent it. We're never gonna get rid of them, unfortunately, like most aliens, but we can make a difference. And it also then keeps your, uh, your family a lot safer. Okay, thanks for your time. We'll carry on doing the, uh, fighting the good fight and you have a good day. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, give us a like, drop a comment. We're always very happy for feedback.